Good afternoon. I am Lovely Grace F. Sampaga from Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English, your discussant for today. So for today's discussion, my topic is all about the strategies in teaching, writing, and composition. English is used in the word as a lingua franca among people from different cultures, ethnic, and social backgrounds. The ability to teach writing effectively at elementary schools is one of the vital skills among English teachers. Writing is a major component in teaching of English. The teaching of writing has been conducted as early as in the early years where students start to learn how to form letters correctly. There are many consequences that could lead to major drawbacks in students' academic performance if they have a weak founding in writing. Writing is not only vital in order to develop their academic performance, but also contributes to their social and emotional development. Moreover, in this competitive world, writing is also one of the skills that is necessary to excel. Their inability to write well may affect their chances to secure a job in the future. Therefore, this issue needs to be tackled effectively. However, teaching writing has become difficult because of the challenges faced by the students in learning writing skills. Some of the challenges that are faced in the ESL students are lack of vocabulary, poor grammar, poor spelling, students' readiness, and lack of exposure to books and reading materials. Writing is an important skill for language production. However, it is considered a difficult skill, particularly in English as a Second Language or ESL, contexts where students face many challenges in writing. Writing is one of the skills among speaking, reading, and listening skills in English. Writing is multiplex activity, claimed by Ling 2016. Writing activities need to be conducted among students since elementary schools so that the students can generate good pieces of writing in the future. Even though there are many subjects in elementary schools, writing is known as one of the most vital academic subjects for students. Writing and composition is a crucial skill that will benefit the rest of the students' lives. Introducing and practicing writing and composition with attractive activities in schools could increase a students' confidence and they will fall in love with writing and composition in a long run. Immediately, writing and composition skills are vital for lower primary students to continue learning in all academic areas, communication, and self-expression. Writing and composition exercises in schools promote the improvement of penmanship as well as overall academic development through troubleshooting and critical thinking. The writing process also is applicable to other areas such as mathematics and sciences. Where the learned traits of planning, research and review is applied as well. General knowledge and vocabulary are also improved as a subsequent effect. There are many ways to improve students' penmanship through writing exercises. Students may use different writing methods at time. There are various teaching writing strategies, for example, pre-writing, writing warm-up, collaboratively write, using sentences starters, and guide writing. General strategies. The first one is view the improvement of students' writing as your responsibility. Teaching writing is not only the job of the English department alone. Writing is an essential tool for learning a discipline and helping students improve their writing skills or composition skills is a responsibility for all faculty. Let students know that you value good writing. Stress the importance of clear, thoughtful writing. Faculty who tells students that good writing will be rewarded and poor writing will be penalized receive better essays than instructors who don't make such demands. In the syllabus, on the first day and throughout the term, remind students that they must make their best 
effort in expressing themselves on the paper. Back up your statement with comments on early assignments that show you really mean it, and your students will be respond. Regularly assign brief writing exercises in your classes. To vary the pace of a lecture course, ask students to write a few minutes during class. Some mixtures of in-class writing, outside writing assignments, and exam with open-ended questions will give students the practice they need to improve their skills. Provide guidance throughout the writing process. After you have made the assignment, discuss the value of outlines and notes. Explain how to select and narrow a topic and critic the first draft. Define plagiarism as well. Don't feel as though you have to read and grade every piece of your student's writing. Ask students to analyze each other's work during class or ask them to critic their work in small groups. Students will learn that they are writing in order to think more clearly, not obtain a grade. Keep in mind, you can collect students' paper and Team their work. Find other faculty members who are trying to use writing more effectively in their courses. Pull ideas about ways in which writing can help students to learn more about the subject matter. See if there is a sufficient interest in your discipline to warrant drawing up guidelines. Students welcome handouts that give them specific instructions on how to write papers for a particular course or in a particular subject area. Assigning in-class writing activities. Ask students to write that they know about the topic before you discuss it. Ask your students to write a brief summary of what they already know or what opinions they hold regarding the subject you are about to discuss. The purpose of this is to focus the student's attention, there is no need to collect the summaries. Ask the students to respond in writing to questions you pose during class. Prior to class starting, list two or three short answer questions on the board and ask your students to write down their responses. Your questions might call for a review of material you have already discussed or recalling information from assigned readings. Ask the students to write from a pro or con position. When presenting an argument, stop and ask your students to write down all the reasons and evidence they can think or that supports one side or the other. These statements can be used as the basis for discussion. During class, pose for a three-minute write. Periodically, ask the students to write freely for three minutes on a specific questions or topic. They should write whatever pops in their mind without worrying about grammar, spelling, phrasing, or organization. This kind of free writing, according to writing experts, helps students synthesize diverse ideas and identify points they may not understand. There is no need to collect these exercises. Have students write a brief summary at the end of class. At the end of the class period, give your students index cards to jot down and key themes, major points, or general principles of the day's discussion. You can easily collect the index cards and review them to see whatever the class understood the discussion. Have one student skip minutes to read at the next class meeting. By taking minutes, students get a chance to develop their listening, synthesizing, and writing skills. Boris 1983 suggests the following. Prepare your students by having everyone take careful notes for the class period. Go home and rework them into minutes and hand them in for comments. It can be the student's discretion whether the minutes are in outline or narrative form. Decide on one to two good models to read or distribute to the class. At the beginning of the each of the following classes, assign one student to take minutes for the period. Give a piece 
of carbon paper to the student who is taking minutes so that you can have rough copy. The student then takes the original home and revised it in time to read in aloud at the next class meeting. After the student has read their minutes, ask other students to comment on their accuracy and quality. If necessary, the student will revise the minutes and turn into two copies, one for grading and one for your files. Structure small group discussion around a writing task. For example, have your students pick three words that are of major importance of the day's session. Ask your class to write freely for two or three minutes on just one of the words. Next, give the students five to ten minutes to meet in groups to share what they have written and generate questions to ask in class. Use peer response groups. Divide your class into groups of three or four. No larger. Ask your students to bring to class enough copies of a rough draft of a paper for each person in their group. Give your students guidelines for critiquing the graph. In any response task, the most important step is for the reader to note the part of the paper that is the strongest and describe to the writer why it worked so well. The following instructions can also be given to the reader. State the main point of the paper in a single sentence. List the major subtopics. Identify confusing sections of the paper. Decide whether each section of the paper has enough detail, evidence, and information. Indicate whether the paper's points follow one another in sequence. Judge the appropriateness of the opening and concluding paragraphs. Identify the strengths of the paper. Use read-around groups. Read-around groups are a technique used with short assignments, two to four pages, which allows everyone to read everyone else's paper. Divide the class into groups no larger than four students and divide the papers, coded for anonymity, into as many sets as there are groups. Give each group a set and ask the students to read each paper silently and decide on the best paper in the set. Each group should discuss their choices and come to a consensus on the best paper. The paper's code number is recorded by the group and the same process is repeated with a new set of papers. After all the groups have read all the sets of papers, Someone from each group writes on the board the code number from the best paper in each set. The recurring numbers are circled. Generally, one to three papers stand out. Ask the students to identify the characteristics of effective writing. After completing the read-around activity, Ask your students to consider those papers which were voted as excellent by the entire class and to write down features that made each paper outstanding. Write their comments on the board asking for elaboration and probing value generalities. In pairs and students discuss the comments on the board and try to put them into categories such as organization, awareness of audience, thoroughness of detail, etc. You might need to help your students arrange the characteristics into meaningful categories. The purpose of this study is to conduct a literature review on the difficulties that students and teachers experience when acquiring and teaching writing skills. It may be stated that school pupils have numerous problems in learning writing abilities and that teaching writing skills to them is difficult for English teachers. Demands on writing skills in English, the purpose of students writing by using various writing strategies, challenges faced by both the students and teachers in learning and teaching writing skills, and previous studies on the challenges faced by the students and teachers to learn and teach writing skills among ESL school students have all been identified in the literature.